Hello and welcome back to my channel. So let's continue our problem solving sessions on Turing machines. Uh, the problem in hand today is uh, we have to design a Turing machine which will be able to solve a problem such as the number of A's is more than number of B's. Okay. So what exactly we need to do is it is quite similar to my previous uh, example what we had solved just before this. Uh, so those users who are new to my channel I would request you to kindly uh, watch the previous video then this particular video will be very easy for you to understand so let's see how to solve it again I will stick to the same plan that is I would solve the example first and then then we'll see what is the exact logic uh, let's see the steps one by one let's assume we have a string such as b uh, b double a b a okay so very clearly we can see that number of a's is 3 over here and number of b's is 2 so obviously this particular example should satisfy this condition that is number of a's should be more than number of b so how to solve it the very first thing is i will be showing you the entire first iteration step by step then i will directly show you the final result okay so let's see initially the machine is in state q0 uh, i will show you the diagram very quickly and then i will jump back to the example we are accepting all the inputs in this state q0 initially what exactly we need to do is we are trying to find the first a very much similar to the previous example we are trying to find the first a we will replace that a by a character star and move to the right okay we will ignore all the other characters we will simply ignore all the b's all the stars which uh, we are going to encounter in state q0 we will simply make a transition only when we receive an a as an input replace it by star and move to the right so that is what we have done over here the first symbol was a b so we ignored it and we uh, moved the pointer to the right as we can see over here so now the pointer is pointing at a the state remains same which is q0 so let's move back to the diagram once again in state q0 once i encounter an a i will now replace it by x and move right making a transition in the state to q1 so that is what we have done over here this particular a is now replaced by a star and now we have made a transition to the state q1 now as we are present in the state q1 as you can see in the diagram the pointer is pointing at a so what we should do according to the diagram in state q1 if i encounter an a i would simply ignore it and move the pointer to the right so here you can see that I have done the exact same thing. I have ignored that A or bypassed that A and moved the pointer to the right, which is now pointing at B. So in state Q1, according to the diagram on the top right corner, in Q1, if I encounter a B, I would simply again in, uh, bypass it or ignore it and keep on moving the pointer to the right. So now in state Q1, again, I'm pointing at A. I will do the same thing. That is, I will bypass it, ignore it and move the pointer to the right. So now, I will keep on doing this according to the diagram until and unless I encounter a blank symbol over there. Once I encounter a blank in the state Q1, according to the diagram, it is uh, the transition is basically BBL. That is, I will keep the blank as it is and make the pointer move to the left. So that is what we have done over here along with making a transition to the state Q2. So now the machine is in state Q2 and the pointer is pointing at A. So what we should do next, we will keep on moving to the left, ignoring each and every character in between until and unless I encounter a small B character. That is nothing but the character B, which will be corresponding to the character A, for which we have already made a replacement with the character star. Okay, so now the, character, uh, now the uh, pointer is pointing at A. I will replace it by A only. That is, I will ignore that particular symbol and move the pointer to the left. So now my pointer is at state Q2 and it is pointing at B. What, what should I do? Yes, according to the logic, I will simply replace it by a star, move to the left and make a transition to the state Q3. That is what is shown over here. So now in state Q3, I will keep on moving to, uh, the pointer to the left until and unless I receive a blank symbol. So I will keep on moving the pointer to the left, ignoring each and every character that it encounters until it reaches the blank symbol so now right now i am in q3 the pointer is pointing at the blank symbol what should i do according to the diagram it is nothing but b b r 
and it is making a transition to the Q0 state. So that is what we have done over here. We have again uh, gone back to the Q0 state and now the pointer is pointing at B. So this is the end of the first iteration or the first cycle. If I keep on continuing uh, this using the same logic, I will end up with something like this. So at the end of the second cycle, I am left with something like this. So all the characters have been marked with star except this A. So now my pointer is pointing at A in the state Q0. Take some time, complete the entire uh, phase 2 that is cycle 2, iteration 2, whatever you want to call it. And just cross check your answers, you should end up having this particular thing with you. That is the pointer pointing at A in the state Q0. So once you reach there, what you should do in state Q0, you are going to replace the A again with a star and move the pointer to the right. So while moving the pointer to the right, now you are in state Q1. So what you should do? The pointer Q1 is pointing at blank. So according to our logic, we will replace the blank with a blank and move to the left. So what exactly is happening? Now my pointer is at Q2. Whatever characters it encounters, it encounters, it will keep on moving the pointer to the left until and unless it reaches a blank. So now, after following the entire logic like this, my pointer is now pointing at the blank symbol and the state at present is Q2. So if we follow the logic in state Q2, if I encounter a blank, it simply means that I have run out of all the inputs. I don't have any more B's corresponding to the A, which means in the previous iteration, what you saw for each and every A, there was one character B present, which I had replaced with a star. But in this case, I have although replaced an A with a star, but I am not in a position to find a corresponding B for that particular star. So as a result, what happens? The machine will come to a conclusion that although it has encountered all the A's, but it is not having a corresponding B to match it up with that corresponding A. So hence, the machine will simply make a halt. It will go to the final state and according to the logic, it will keep the pointer over that particular location that is a blank symbol and make a transition to QF state indicating a stop signal. So this is how we complete this particular problem using this very simple logic which is uh, roughly based on the logic which we had done in the previous problem. So let, let me just show you the table to complete this answer and then we will uh, halt this particular problem over here. Just have a look at this particular transition table. It is very much similar to the previous case. You just simply need to follow the diagram on your right and keep on filling up this table. Just make sure you have to complete all the five steps. First step being the theory. Second step, the logic. Third, your diagram. Fourth, your transition table. And fifth, an example. In our case, I have shown the example first for keeping the concept as crisp and as short as possible so that you come to a better understanding of this particular problem. So I hope this particular problem is very much clear to you now. If you are having any problems, if, any, if you feel I have made some error, kindly let me know in the comment section. I would uh, definitely get back to you and if you are having any queries, any problems regarding to the previous problems also, you can simply drop a message. I would definitely try and uh, get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for being in contact. Kindly. Uh, Give a like if you like this particular video, subscribe to my channel for the uh, next upcoming uh, updates on the particular problems based on theory of computer science and automata theory. Thanks a lot.